Okay, let's go hunting. I'm up at Pheasant Creek Hunting Preserve up uh, between Murfreesboro and uh, Lebanon. What exactly is this location? Well, uh, we've got a last Kansas address, but uh, we're about four miles off of 231, halfway between Murfreesboro and Lebanon. Okay, this is Jesse Dunaway. Jesse runs and operates the uh, Pheasant Creek Hunting Preserve. Also with us, Walter Crawford, way down here, and Bill Boyd, Mid-10 Ford, and Big Boyd out at Mid-10. Anyway, we're going hunting, going to be uh, hunting some pheasant. Got any quail? Oh, we got some good quail today, and uh, we're going to show you some good shooting on the quail, I hope. I smell got something one. good cooking on there. And we got one guy has got a little something to live up to. He didn't miss all last year. I know he didn't, and he was worried to death about his word about it now. I can tell where he looked. <laughs> Bill, you shouldn't be nervous because you, you don't miss, I'm telling you. I know Big doesn't miss back there. He had not missed. What was the last time you missed? How many years ago? That's one thing we don't want to get. But anyway, tell you what we're going to do. We're getting ready to load up here and go out in the field and, and have a good time. Hope you folks enjoy it. Pheasant Creek Honey Preserve. Here we go. Go back. Come on, Rick. Somebody needs to back me up. Back it. Move up that slow and get. Maybe she's, whether she saw one man or not. There he is right there. Wait a minute, just hold it. Don't get it. Wait to come out, you got it. <laughs> yeah, you got to miss. And the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Say, you got too far out. <laughs> Leo. Oh, my goodness. Come here, Leo. <laughs> that's, uh, that bird's too heavy. Let's see this rascal here. Get a shot at it. That's pretty. Yes, sir, really. How about that? Bill, looks like you got lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Dandy, man. That's a pretty bird, healthy. Got him down there on. Whoop. Got him on point here. I don't know. It could have been. One got up down in here. I don't know. Vic, he's in there and see. There you go. There you go. That a boy. Now, Walt, he let him get on out there. I know he did. That's right. Speed him up a little. Bring him out. Good Bring shot. Him. Good shot. Bring him out. Oh. Yeah, you're letting him get up that way. Get him a Bring him out. Sporting chance. Got him a. Got him a good. Oh, that big bird, aren't you? Pretty thing, what? Mm. That's right, stick him back in the... Yeah, that's pretty right there, man. Back in that... Beautiful, beautiful. You better get up here, Bill. I'll have to miss. Come on, get this. <laughs> I'm too short, I can't even see all the bushes. <laughs> Good dog. There you go, John. <laughs> That's a good one. That'd be good on the table. That's, that looks pretty good. Yes, sir, Rick. What's that, Walter? Well, the dog got it. Went that way. Careful, 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 careful. Whoop. Get in, Walter. Well, he let him get out there so far. I thought he was gonna fly right on out of the county. I, I thought he's got the buck fever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he let him get too far out. I've 
sir. Hey, that's a big bird, I tell you. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a big bird. Good shot, man. Good shot. 
You did? You let him go out there. I thought you was going to pull a Walter on us. That up boy, Walter. Good shot. Good shot. There will be groceries on the table tonight. He's got it this time, John. Bring it here, Leo. Bring it on in here. Got a good shot here. Bring it here, John. Good girl. Good girl. Boy, that is good, good girl. And that's the second time they've ever retrieved those pheasants. Yeah. This first time she's ever born a pheasant. Robbie doggone. That's great. That's the reason she's kicking that tail. Uh-huh. Yes, when you get to the quail. Okay, Jim. I'll tell you one thing, Walt. It's a good thing uh, Kawasaki Honda Nashville let us have this mule yeah. because uh, if not, we'd all have to be carrying all that weight. And these yeah. doggone pheasants are pretty heavy, do you know? It? I wasn't going to shoot at you, Bill. Like <laughs> that didn't hurt you, did it? Oh, no. That's right. I know where it's coming from. Yeah. You know, it's it's hard for me to tell people when they call me. They say, "Hey, where did you go when you went up that pheasant hunt?" You know, look like y'all had a real good time. I said, "Well, it's between Lebanon and Murfreesboro, but I and I, you know, I, I just can't tell you the exact address. But I got a number here. You call Jesse. But no, it's not that far. It's 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 close. Let me ask you something, Jeff. You put a lot of birds out, and of course, like I was telling uh, the folks here uh, earlier in the tape that. You know, it's, it's become a, a needed, it's a necessity a preserve. It is a hunting preserve. It's something nowadays that people can go, enjoy it. They're guaranteed the game. And, uh, you know, it's just that they have to be able to shoot, you know, and they can learn a lot. You've got sporting clays here. Yes, sir. And they can go and uh, sharpen the eye, shooting sporting clays and doing those things. But anyway, how many birds, say, do you uh, lose on a hunt sometimes? Well, on our quail, we harvest around 70%. 70%? Mm -hmm. And uh, on our pheasant, we do a little bit better. We, and like 85 or even, uh, I'd say on the course of the year, 85%. But it's a great way to bring kids out, teach them how to hunt, yeah. how to shoot. You know, we've, uh, we had about 10 coveys of birds on this place when we started. Uh -huh. We've got about 10 coveys now. And we plant stuff for them every year, right? And like this Milo and sunflowers uh -huh. and uh, stuff like that. And it's good to take and come out and know that you're gonna get your birds, but it's also a thrill when oh, you, man, you yeah. see that covey rise and the right. birds comes up. It's and I like to get you in the one. Well, good. Day. Listen, one one other question here, real quick. Uh, predators. You have a lot of predators yeah, that yeah, get in here and get. That's part of that's the, part of game. That's part yeah. of the thing. And, uh, well, we're having a great time, man. We love it and. Uh, I know the folks out there watch Tennessee outdoors and get a kick out of it. Yeah. So we appreciate like that. A lot of new people yeah. coming in the area yeah. and uh, oh, yeah. trying to get the word out to them. And they, can, they don't have to drive a thousand miles to do some pheasant hunting. They can do it right here in Tennessee and right close That's to right. Nashville. That's right. I'm not what about it? I'm not a very dangerous person. You get the trophy. <laughs> you got the trophy, though. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, I, I'm sorry I, I put the jinx on you this morning. <laughs> but you did come out last time and didn't miss one. And, uh, well, I want to show you how she went. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's where we're going in the woods and get that pheasant over there. We're going. Over here, you may give that one a try. He's been talking to us. Been talking to us over there. Maybe two or three in there. 
Bill, Bill wants that bird because that's the one that scooted out on him over there. Oh, it's a different one? Oh, it's a different one? Yeah. He was already over there, huh? Well, we'll get him anyway. <laughs> smack on top of those. Sounds good to me, son. Whatever. Yes. The assistant cook. The assistant. Assistant cook. Shirley S. here, good friend of ours from Stacey Larry. She got uh, all the deer up there. That's where that big deer come from on her farm. Oh, okay. Yes, good in there. Deer well, we're ready. Yeah, 
mug. It's right there. Grab you. Well, that's tender. Grab mm -hmm. you some of those. They're hot. Did we we'll make a jerky out of these right here? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it, Mignon. Put it in the fridge. Whoop. Get you in. I think you've done well. It's in the water. I'm going to play myself. I'm going to play myself. I'll give you the rest of the plate there. That's wonderful, that. Well, I agree. You take time. you got to wait on something, you know. You just take time to do it. Put your thumb right in there. Yeah. Take it like a good game. Yeah, I'd be a lot left. Yeah. Yeah, so you've been high enough to eat and mighty good. Look how skinny he is. He's so hot. What's wrong? Way to go for a bowl of chili. Yeah, but when it's good chili, it works. Yes, it's been a great day, man. We sure do appreciate it. I'm telling you, know you know. what, it was uh, some wild carrying on out there. I hear that. You snuck those uh, quail in on us after the pheasant, and it's kind of hard getting a gun on those rascals. Well, I, I know you had plenty of practice. So we <laughs> got a good bunch of quail down, and uh, everybody's done good. And, uh, we had a great boy still hadn't missed. No, he's still, he's still in there. Let me, let me tell you what. I got mine right here. What did y'all do with y'all's bird? <laughs> Did y'all get any? We got ours in the truck. <laughs> uh, Las Casas, right. Tennessee. That's between Murfreesboro and Lebanon, and about 30 miles, you say, from the metro airport in Nashville. That's right. So that's not far. Just come out I-40 East, turn off 231 uh, North, and come out how many miles? Uh, about 12 and a half. About 12 and a half miles. And then you got it made. Just turn left there and come on. Follow the road till you see the Pheasant Creek uh, Preserve honey sign right there. Sounds good to me. i tell you what, I've had a great time, Vic, you and Bill and Walter. This Walter is uh, probably one of the uh, all-time great shooters. Oh. <laughs> it, it, he's, he's real modest. But anyway. I taught him everything. I taught him everything you know. Vic, did you help any? A little bit. Always. Tell you what, we've had a great time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, tell him you saw it on the Tennessee Outdoors. Come see Jess over here.